you are in the rainforest at night, you could see many terrifying creatures. But one that many people are scared of is called the Black Witch Moth. This giant fruit-feeding insect with glowing eyes is actually rather common in tropical rainforests in South and Central America. But it is also a resident in the Caribbean and the southern United States. Some people are afraid of them despite them being completely harmless. They cannot bite, they cannot sting. But people say they are a bad omen, associated with witchery, black magic and death. And these fascinating insects, while they are residents even in the southern United States, Florida for example and Texas, they can even migrate all the way up to the northern latitudes of Canada and New York in some cases. Truly this harbinger of bad fortune can be found all over the American continent. But what does it mean? Death. In many cultures, these moths are seen as a bad omen. For example, in parts of Brazil, Ecuador and Peru, people say that if they appear in your home or land on your house, somebody will die soon. Or a loved one that you know who is struggling with his health may pass away. But interestingly, some people disagree. In Hawaii, for example, people still associate the moths with death. However, they say that the moths are the embodiment of a person's soul returning from the afterlife to say goodbye. And that if you recently lost somebody in your life, a friend, a family member, sometimes they'll come back from the afterlife to say hi in the form of a black witch moth. In fact, in many countries, they are seen as the souls of dead relatives or friends, but also harbingers of bad luck. And in parts of Caribbean and Mexican folklore, one of these moths visiting you means you have bad fortune. Speaking of fortune, money! Believe it or not, but in some places, such as the Bahamas or Texas, these moths are referred to as money moths or money bats. Because the legend is that if one lands on you, you'll come into money. For example, it means if one lands on your door and stays there or lands on you, that you win the lottery or maybe have another form of financial good luck. Overall, there is the overarching theme of death, spirits and the afterlife when it comes to the Black Witch Moth. I think is that maybe these beliefs go back to the time of the Aztecs and other civilizations in South America. Because nowadays these beliefs are so widespread in South America, Central America and even the southern parts of the United States and the Caribbean. They must have had one singular origin and then spread over the continent. And while it's funny to speculate and think about culture, 
I do have to say, personally, I believe that the moths are completely harmless. But that's just my opinion as a biologist. It may depend where you come from. In Jamaica, for example, they are known as but duppy bats and seen as the embodiment of a lost soul or a soul that is not at rest. What do you people think? Leave a comment. Personally, I am not a superstitious person at all. I'm going to be brutally honest. I don't even believe in the afterlife. I don't even believe in magic. But I do think the cultural element is funny. I do think the mythology around it is interesting. But I also hope it doesn't lead to people being afraid or superstitious about these harmless animals. Giant black moths with glowing eyes may look very creepy and scary, just like me, I'm also creepy and scary. But at the same time, we shouldn't fear these animals, which they're doing a great service for the environment. They are interesting, fascinating and important. But I thought it was cool to make a video about the Black Witch. See you next time.